For number 12, it tells me in triangle LMC, the measure of angle, I should have a little M, sorry, measure, measure, measure. The measure of angle MCL is 37 degrees. The measure of angle MLC is 106 degrees. And the measure of angle CML is 37 degrees. Classified the triangle by its angles and sides. So first, if I've got one triangle I'm dealing with, I'm going to draw it out. I'm going to draw, I know that this is 106 degrees, so I'm going to make an obtuse triangle. And it'll be just a rough sketch. However, the ordering does matter because if I've got an obtuse angle at angle MLC, L needs to be right here. And then my M and C doesn't really matter. I can put my M here, my C here. So I've got MLC is 106 degrees. I've got MCL, MCL, which is this angle right here, is 37 degrees. And CML, CML. So this will be 37 degrees. Now, if I've got two angles that are both 37 degrees, I know that this is going to be an isosceles triangle, and across from each angle will be my congruent sides. So if I'm classifying the triangle by the angles, that'll be either a right triangle, an obtuse triangle, or an acute triangle. Acute means all the angles must be less than 90. I have one obtuse angle, so this must be an obtuse triangle. The reason um, you wouldn't have more than one obtuse triangle, or um, one obtuse angle in a triangle, is because obtuse means more than 90. So if we have two angles that are more than 90, 90 plus 90 is 180. So that means out of the two angles of our triangle, we would already be over 180 degrees for our triangle. So that won't work. So as long as it has one obtuse angle, it's an obtuse triangle. Then if I'm classifying it by sides, that's when I'll say scalene, equilateral, or isosceles. Because I have two congruent sides, that will make this triangle isosceles. All right, for number 13. It says in each figure below, solve for the missing variable. Let me scoot this out just a bit. So if I've got this triangle here, I can solve for W because in triangle ABC, I already have two of my three angles. To find that last angle, I can add 61 and 59 together find out what the sum of those are, and then subtract from 180 to find this last piece. I could also do 61 plus 59 plus W equals 180 and solve that way. I like to add these together and subtract from 180. So I'll do 61 plus 59 gives me 120. So I've already used 120 angles or degrees for these two angles. So I need to figure out how much would be left to make this triangle 180 degrees. So 180 minus 120 gives me 60 degrees. So W must be 60 degrees. Now, I have an isosceles triangle for ABD because I know I've got two congruent sides. Across from those sides will be my congruent angles. So I know Y and Z will have the same measure. To find x, I can see that I've got a straight line right here. So that means the measure of x plus 59 will equal 180. So I can do 180 minus 59 to tell me that x will be 121 degrees. Now if this is 121 degrees, I can do 180 minus 121 and then divide that by 2 so that I can distribute that between those two angles. Or you can say, well, y and z are the same, so I'll call both of them y. And you can say, if this is 121, 121 plus y plus, if this is y and this is z, but they're both having the same uh, measure, I can say they're both y, equals 180. So 121 plus 2y equals 180. 180 minus 121 gives me 59. So 2y equals 59. So if I divide that by 2, 
I get 29.5 for y and z. You could also do 180 minus 121, taking this away. And you're left with 59 degrees that you need to split between these two evenly. So you could just divide that by 2 to find 29.5 also. That'll work for you as well. For F, it gives me one angle, and then I need to solve for X in order to find these other two angles. I'm only looking for X, though. So really, all I need to do is add all these angles together and set them equal to 180, because we know that all the angles of a triangle equal 180. So 59 plus 2X plus 3 plus 4X minus 8 equals 180. I'll combine my like terms. I've got 2x and 4x, so I've got 6x, and 59 plus 3 minus 8 gives me 54. So plus 54 equals 180. Subtract 54 from both sides. 180 minus 54 gives me 126, and 6x equals 126. Then I'll divide by 6, and x will be 21.